embarrassed. It's hard to talk about. I feel stupid saying it. I feel stressed out and frustrated and also tense having to tell the story. Most pilots don't understand what career opportunities are available in the world of aviation. They're making career decisions based on advice from friends or posts on internet forums. Meaning they are taking huge risks with their livelihood without having all the details. This podcast was created to help you understand the aviation industry so you can find your dream job. Let's get ready for pushback. Here's your host and my dad, Nick Fialka. Hey, pilot, don't forget, on March 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be doing a live webinar with the director of hiring at United Airlines. You know him, Justin Ritter. We will be answering all of your questions live. So don't forget to sign up. All of the details are in the show notes and the hyperlink is there. Sign up, log in, and ask your question to Justin Ritter. I'll see you March 8th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Hey, pilots. Welcome to another solo episode of Ready for Pushback. My name is Nick Fialka. I'm glad you're joining me. I'm glad you are along for the ride. It is awesome to have you. 2024 is shaping up to be a great year. And I tell you what, guys, there's so many great things going on. And I have been challenging myself to find the goodness in just about as much stuff as I can. And I tell you what, I try to find the goodness in a flight attendant that's having a bad day. I try to find the goodness in a passenger that's frustrated because of delays. I try to find the goodness in a maintenance delay. I try to find the goodness in the chaos in my house. And I've just been, you know, that's kind of my my mantra this year is just to find the goodness. And you know what? I am doing this episode because it's a little bit of a confession because I failed the other day. So this is a crazy thing. I'm going to be brutally honest and and I embarrass myself. I show my tail and I embarrass myself and I want to tell you what happened because I think it's important for you to hear, not for a true confessions part, which isn't always interesting and intriguing. People stick stick around, but really I want you to be introspective with this story and think about yourself and where you sit and how you can not do what I did. So I was having, I was talking to a person on the phone that it was a call center and I had to call to talk about like medical stuff for my kids. And it was this call center and I had been on hold for a really long time. You know how this goes, right? So I'm on hold for a long time and I finally patched through. I'm happy to talk to this person. And I'm asking a stupid question. It's like a very basic question. And I lay it out like that. And I always do that. I always say, hey, listen, I know this is probably so simple, but I'm having a really hard time with it. And I appreciate your help. And that usually sets people up for a good thing. And so basically, I was trying to figure out how to do a thing for my kid. And they said, okay, here's what you need to do. Go on this website and there's a PDF. Open this PDF and it'll walk you through it. So I open the PDF. It's like 45 pages. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Well, I I see that. Um, So I just need to do, I don't need 45 pages of this. I only need like one specific part. So can you help me find this one specific part? And she was like, well, it's in the PDF. You just got to go through the PDF. I said, I get it. I get it. But I've got to, I don't want to lose this. I've already been on hold for a super long time. So just help me like, or at least just stay with me while I read through it so I can just get it done. Should just take a second. And the person on the phone said, no, I have other people on hold that I need to talk to. And I said, but I was on hold and I'm the person that you need to talk to. And, and so I just, just stay with me, just stick with me. And all of a sudden, so the person kept talking over me that they needed to go because there are too many people on hold and we can't wait for we can't wait for this this to get done. And so here I am, I'm holding a sleeping baby and I'm on the phone and I've been on hold for way too long. I was probably hungry. I was probably tired. I probably, I just wasn't having a great day. And I just needed this one little thing. And the person kept talking, 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 talking all over me for just kind of like a monologue. I said, hey, and I tried six or seven times to get my question in, 
I'm not trying to make excuses for myself, but finally I snapped and I said, I raised my voice and I said, would you please just stop talking? Would you please stop talking? I just need to ask one question. You know, when I raised my voice, it was over. That was it. I mean, the whole conversation was over. I should have never done it. And it was hard. And the lady, the lady was like, excuse me, nobody talks to me like that. And you know, so you lost. So she hung up on me and here I am. I haven't gotten the thing done that I was hoping to get done. But also like I showed my tail. I got caught in a moment. And I want you to think about that because I bring this to you to be honest to you, but I also think that we're all human, but you need to be able to compartmentalize better than I did because we are entrusted with a lot in our job. And we are supposed to be professionals in all different, I mean, like we wear these uniforms, we do the things, like people expect us to be a better than the average human. And in that moment, I was not better than the average human. And I'm embarrassed. It's hard to talk about. I feel stupid saying it. I feel like stressed out and frustrated and also like tense having to tell the story again. But you know what? Like if I was flying out, And I lost, I shelled an engine and I had somebody having a heart attack and I had a flight attendant that just didn't like to participate and was being mean and rude and things like that. Like you have to be able to overcome all of that. And I didn't even overcome just a person on the phone. And so I want you to spend some time thinking about that and marinating on that. And if you are a person that can have a quick reaction that is negative, I want you to really think about the value of another person and the fact that if you're able to keep it together, if you're able to keep it together better than I am, than I was, then you are going to be much more successful. You're going to have an opportunity to succeed where I failed. And because I lost her, if she was my flight attendant, it was over. It was over. She'd have reported me, written me up. I'd have had to have a talk with the chief pilot office. But if that was an emergency when that happened, like, yeah, sometimes you have to be curt and you have to be abrupt, but you have to be civil. That's important. I want you to consider that. I don't have a real good moral for this story, except for don't be like me. But I do think that you're going to be in stressful times. There's going to be people that are tense around you. And if you can articulate yourself with grace, then you will be better than I was. And I want you to be better than I was. That's what I'm here to tell you. I want you to be better than I was. I want you to control yourself. I don't want you to get frustrated. I don't want you to lash out. I want you to take in the information, take a breath, and realize that it even this little thing is inconsequential. Take care of the people that are important to you. And those people are your family. Those people are your coworkers. Those people are your passengers. And do that. Do that with precision and do that with dedication. I've talked about our family motto, kind, helpful, respectful. Man, I was not kind and I was not respectful and I found it not very helpful. And so when you fail at that, find ways to redeem yourself. Like as a call center, I couldn't call the lady back up and apologize. I felt like crap. I felt bad for like two days, but maybe, maybe somebody got treated bad and they're listening to this podcast, I'm sorry for that person that treated you bad because that could have been me. And if it was, it was me. Realize that and die to yourself. Find a place where you can live in grace because you should. You're good. You're great. You were created for a bigger reason. And this job, this job that you have is bigger than you. And it involves an entire community. So find that place where you can plug into that community and be better. And that's it. It's a weird solo episode, but I want you to just keep working hard. I'm happy to keep talking about my failures. If you want me to talk about it, man, I'm, I'll lay them open. But that's it. When I fall short, I'm going to bring it to the podcast. Maybe it'll help you out a little bit more. Let me know if it does. Send me an email. My email is podcast at spitfireelite.com. If this is important, if this is helpful for you, let me know. And if it's not helpful for you, I also want to know. This is the first try. You guys have a great one. I'll catch you on the next interview episode, which is coming up on Monday. See ya. Hey, before you jump out of here and go on to the next podcast, can I ask a big favor? Would you mind going over to your app that you're listening to this podcast on and give me a review? 
Give me a five-star review if you love it. Give me a one-star review if it totally sucks. Put a comment in there, something that is helpful. It helps me. It helps get the word out there. It helps people find the podcast, and that's super cool. If you don't do that, maybe you could just share the podcast with a friend. Tell a buddy who's trying to figure it out, trying to sort out this pilot dream of theirs and get a little bit further. That is super awesome as well. Last, if you don't do either of those two things, how about this? Find a way today to make yourself 1% better. Do that thing that you've been putting off. Put your foot forward, make movement, get yourself going, get that inertia that you need to succeed in this industry. So that's your choice. Leave a review, tell a friend, or make yourself better. Either way, it's all a good choice. And I'm super stoked you're listening, and I will see you on the next episode. The statements made on this show are my own opinions and do not reflect, nor are they under any direction from my employer.